Today, Kevin and I are going to be answering the would you rather questions from the community page on my, my YouTube channel. There's a, a community tab. You click on it. There's a would you rather question every single day. We're going to go through those questions for the month of November. So the first question is, would you rather take a shower before going to sleep or after waking up? We take ours at night before going to bed. Although I used to, years ago, used to take them in the morning. Mm -hmm. But then it was like I had to get up earlier to get ready for work just because I wanted to take a shower. So now I take it, I always take it the night before. And if you go to bed clean, you're taking a shower before you go to bed. So if you go to bed clean, you're not getting your sheets dirty and your bed funky and, and you're waking up clean. I could also see though the, the people want to take it in the morning if they're if they're a night sweater. Yes. Like oh, I you sweat, oh, absolutely. Really, Cause yeah. I used to years ago, I used to sweat, sweat. awful at night. I mean, yes. just drench. I would get hot yes. uh, because Tammy would get cold halfway through the night. I'd be burned up. Well, and we <laughs> had a different size bed. We yeah, only had bed. a double bed instead of a queen size bed. Yeah. So now we have a bigger bed. There's more room to spread out. Not that she does. He doesn't sweat as much. Not that she does. <laughs> <laughs> She's still right next to me. Um, so okay. anyway, ours, I, we both take ours. Tonight. Before going to bed, 61% said before going to bed. Yeah, that's 61%. not surprising. Actually, I'm, I'm surprised it's not closer 50-50. No, know? no. Uh, this came from uh, someone recommended this question. Would you rather be the doctor or be the doctor's assistant? Um, I'd rather be the assistant. And I'd rather be the doctor. Well... If we're just talking about money and prestige, yeah, I don't want to be the doctor. But in reality, I don't want that responsibility. <laughs> um, I would, yeah, I'd want to be the doctor. I like to call the shots. She's I like bossy. to be in charge, bossy. large and in charge, and and I like to do things my way, my time. And I mine's could. all about the responsibility. I don't want to. I don't want somebody to come in and, and be on death door and me be responsible for saving that person's that. life. But that, it's just a choice you make in yeah. life. If, you, if you're and if you're used to making those decisions, then you can do that. Uh, Fifty-three percent agreed with you, but that's close. That is Fifty-three close. to forty-seven. That's really close. Um, would you rather you use deodorant? Now, some people thought this was a stupid question. I will explain the question. Would you rather use deodorant before going to sleep or when getting dressed for the day? The reason I asked this question is because there was an entire conversation on a radio program I listened to and two of the five people out there put their deodorant on before they go to bed at night. So for those of you that thought that was a stupid question, I would ask a stupid question. Well, they're clearly the ones that do it the different way. <laughs> yeah. I like, always put mine on before going to It's like you can't night. imagine anybody doing anything different from you. Just because you don't put it on at night doesn't mean that nobody does. I put mine on at night before um, going to bed. I take a shower, draw off, put my deodorant on, put my shirt on. And I'm one of those that when I used deodorant, I would put it on in the morning. Yeah. So I no longer use deodorant at all, to be completely honest, because I, I've been skipping days. Like I, if I know I'm not going to go anywhere, if I'm hanging around the house, I don't wear deodorant either. I, I don't know if it's my age and it could definitely be my age. Um, I think a lot of things play a factor. Um, I, I, it could be my age. It could be because I never, I do not sweat at all, but I have not worn deodorant. Um, I wore deodorant when we went to Hawaii just because I knew I would be out in the heat and I would uh, be sweaty in Hawaii. But we live in an area where I don't do anything. I don't. I don't go to a gym. I don't. I don't work out or get hot, sweaty doing anything. And so I don't have to wear deodorant. Unless you work out in the yard. And I've never had any complaints from Kevin. Kevin has. He didn't even notice that I had quit I'm using it. I'm just being it. nice. She smells horrible, but I just don't want to tell her. Repulsive. <laughs> <Just awesome>. um, <laughs> um, no, yeah. But so what was the percentage? I'm curious. So um, so anyway, I do it when I when I wear it. It's in the morning. Morning, and I would do it, does at, it night. at night. 91% said when they're getting dressed for the day. Huh. So, well, that still means 9% of us do it the night before. Yeah. Uh, would you rather marry the person of your dreams or have the job of your dreams? I'd much rather marry the person of my dream. 
I, me personally, because that's gonna fill me full of much more happiness. And I know some people think the job's all the happiness. Yeah. But for me, it's all about you know the life you live is is means more. Plus, the jobs only last so long. Then you're stuck with the other person for the rest of your life. So. Yeah, there will come a point where you're gonna retire. Yeah. Um, that job's not gonna be there. I'm gonna say marry the person of your dreams too. But I do understand, I understand. Yeah. why some people put job of their dreams oh, yeah. because some people. Uh, never get married and their 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 job is their yeah. marriage and and I completely understand that and respect that I have or, the utmost respect or if you that. think you know I can be married or can be or I can be with nobody you can might, might read that question as being I'm with nobody and I've got the job of my dreams mm -hmm. or I'm with somebody and I've got a crappy job you know you can see it both ways right so um I still I'd rather be just married to the person. well 65 percent said marry the person yeah. of the dreams uh, would you rather have a time machine or a teleporter? I'd rather have a teleporter. Teleporter. Absolutely. Teleporter. I'm not messing with time. I mean, yes, there's events in history we could definitely, we'd love to change. But unfortunately, as bad as it sounds, those events made what we are today. They happened for a reason. So, yeah. uh, you know, if you change some small thing back in history, it could be 10 times worse now yeah, than you it don't is know. then. You know, you just don't know. Yeah, and, and, and some people commented, you know, that uh, they would like to go back in time because they would like to see a loved one again and all that. Yeah. And I get that, but for me, a teleporter is going to help me today and every day forever because the commute and I mean just to I mean can you imagine having a teleporter and not having to be on an airplane for nine hours I mean it would just be absolutely phenomenal yep. um, a time machine 68 percent said time machine yeah I know a lot of people would rather go back back or forward in time me, me personally I just don't want to mess I don't want to mess with his, I've read too much science fiction. You mess with yeah. time, it messes stuff yeah, up. Yeah, you, you're not supposed to mess with, with history. Yet. I played too many video games where history turns out really bad when you change. I mean, uh, the present turns out bad when you change, change things history, in history. Yeah. Would you rather give up all social media for the rest of your life or eat the exact same dinner for the rest of your oh, life. Social media for me. I could give up social media anytime. I'd rather eat the exact same dinner for the rest of my really? life. Really? Because I don't care. Yeah, because that would, because I could so eat, boring. for me, I could eat whatever I wanted all day long and have the same dinner. Who cares? I just... I don't get on social media, but... But I am a creature of habit. I'm a scheduled creature of habit, so that would, to me that would I should have gone into the military notion because I truly I, I I like schedule I like things schedule to be just rigor. I like things to be just so so. Um, Seventy seven percent said they would give up all social media. Yeah. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I'll be good. If you're just talking about Facebook and I'm not talking about YouTube. I don't consider YouTube social media. No, I really, that's I, what I'm saying. Like, all. like I watch a lot of Twitch videos and YouTube yeah, videos. That's not social. That's media. not. No. I'm not interacting with those people Twitter, necessarily. Twitter, Instagram, Instagram, Pinterest. If you want to consider Pinterest social media, uh, yeah, um, that kind of stuff is what I consider. So I could give every bit of. Oh, uh, of TikTok. Yeah, I never watch any of it. Uh, that would be social media. No, um, I load up my Instagram page every two weeks. What later. is that other one people have? Snapchat. That yeah. would be social media. None of that stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, would you rather receive chocolate or Wait, you didn't say how many people. I said 77%, oh, right. but you I don't, don't believe, don't believe them. That's right. Because the minute I take your phone away from you, you're going to go nuts. No, phone doesn't have anything to do with social media. Yes, it does. I'll give you a flip phone because that's all you need. No, if you don't that's have not true. Media. I watch YouTube videos on my phone. I'm, I'm not on social media at all, and I, get on, I love my phone. You do have an Instagram account. I have it, but I never check it. You never it. use it. Yeah, he ne never. The only time I'm on Instagram is when they get that little red number on it. I go clear that out, and then I exit again. If Kevin has posted <laughs> something to Instagram, it's because he was really bored or saw something I'm usually really at a meeting interesting. Or, a, or something, a meeting or something like that. I think one of the last things you posted was that picture of the skeleton in the car. Oh my gosh, that was so weird. It was hilarious. Okay. And it was funny because I'm thinking it's in a school parking lot. It's like, yep, they've been waiting around a long time. Kevin's Instagram is MovieHQ. You can follow it or not. He doesn't post anything. I don't post um, Occasionally I post it. Okay. Not very often. Would you rather receive chocolate or flowers? Chocolate. Chocolate. 75% said chocolate. That didn't surprise me. 
Would you Which rather... is hilarious because Valentine's Day is such a huge flower day, but most people would rather have a box of chocolate. Uh, and I have to say, too, if there are any typos in these questions, I can't go back and, and correct. Yeah, you I, can edit them. I hate having a typo. I hate that. But what I'm normally doing is Kevin and I are sitting at the computer coming up with these questions together, and I'm just typing it up really quickly in the uh, YouTube thing, and it doesn't have spell check. And I'm, when you're typing quickly, you're going to make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. So if, if you see a typo, I know about it. I couldn't go back and change it. Uh, would you rather eliminate bad drivers from the road or never wait in line anywhere again? Probably eliminate bad drivers. Me too. Yeah. 69% said they would rather eliminate bad drivers. Well, if you eliminate bad drivers, you're probably going to eliminate the deaths on the road. Deaths. Not a lot. Yeah. Why wouldn't you want to... Maybe not all of them, but eliminate you're going to eliminate deaths. Yeah. Uh, would you, Although, not waiting in line would be very nice. <laughs> would you rather, this was interesting, look strong but be weak or look weak but be strong? Mm -hmm. I think I'd rather look weak and be strong. I would rather look weak and be strong. 94% said they would rather look weak and be strong. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm thinking I don't care what I look like, um, but... I know some people like that big muscle, yeah. look, but I don't care what I look like. But if I can go carry a couch up the stairs by myself, exactly, <laughs> exactly, like, oh, I'll take care of that. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we have had people in our life. We've known some uh, smaller stature people, but boy, strong as bulls. Yeah. Um, you know who I'm talking uh -huh. about. You talk about carrying a couch up the stairs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, would you rather? Become a millionaire or have the ability to eat whatever you want without gaining weight? Mm, probably eat whatever I want. I'd rather be a millionaire. Mm. I'd rather be a millionaire and just keep doing what I'm doing. Mm. Just to keep eating what I'm eating and be a millionaire. I'd be happier with the money. 72% said they'd rather be money. a millionaire. Uh, would you rather change your name or your personality? Name. I'd rather change my name too. Yeah. 57% said personality. Oh, wow. They'd rather change their personality because a lot of people like their name. See, I'm not attached I don't care one way to my name at all. I would change my name right now. Um, would you rather kiss your neighbor or the last person who emailed you? Hmm. Well, the last person that emailed me was a work email. But it was not, it was just an ad. And so. you know what? You could kiss them on the cheek. Yeah. It doesn't say you have to kiss with on like the lips. Lip lock. Yeah, it doesn't have to say, or I could grab Kevin's hand and... No, that doesn't count. No, um, I'm cheating. But you, you, could, you could do the cheek. I think I'd rather do the neighbor. Only because um, it would look weird if I did it at work. <laughs> I'd rather kiss the last person who emailed me. It was probably me. Or YouTube. Um, no, I'm not even counting YouTube. Because I get all the comments from YouTube. Well, yeah, that's true. That's not true. You get some I comments. should get, uh, yeah. I get some comments from YouTube. Usually it notifies you of like any comments. That That's never worked for me. I get some comments from YouTube. Um, no, I really don't remember. But I'll kiss anybody on the cheek. I don't care. I don't care who it is. Uh, but 57% said the neighbor. Uh, would you rather play in the rain or the snow? Rain. Uh, rain. 27% said rain. 73% of you said the snow. You'd rather play in the snow. Too cold. It's too cold. <laughs> uh, would you rather eat cake? That's or... surprising it was that big. I know. The snow. It makes me wonder, do they not have snow? <sighs> And it's they're just thinking cold. that's a novelty because it's it's it, when you live when you live in a place where you have snow every year, uh, it's not that big of a deal. Um, would cold. would you rather eat cake or pie? Cake? Uh, no pie. I'd probably eat pie. I'd rather eat. Ugh. It depends on what kind of cake it is. Yeah, but you can't pick. No, I mean if it's a bakery cake, I'd rather eat the cake. But if it's like a regular box cake, I'd rather I eat the pie. I'm gonna say cake. It's 66% say cake. I'm just gonna say cake to be. So what are you picking? 
I'm assuming you really like pie, though. I'm assuming though that that you purchase it because you you're gonna purchase a pie or purchase a cake. Yeah, so you get to choose. Um, I would probably, I'd still probably pick a pie. A pie, yeah. yeah. Kevin's pie the guy. Pie, pumpkin pie. Yeah, Kevin likes pie, uh, but 66 percent say cake. Peanut butter. Pie. Would you rather? <laughs> Shrimp Let me, Creole, I know, just shrimp keep naming gumbo, pies. That's right. Shrimp, yeah. Uh, would you rather shovel snow or rake leaves? Yeah, neither one of those options are. It's rake leaves. Rake leaves. Because shoveling snow is not just it a matter of pushing. It's, you got to pick it up and throw it's it. It's heavy. Yeah. Yes, it's very heavy. Oh, seventy-four uh, percent said rake leaves. Nowadays, you just did a leaf blower and <laughs> you don't have to rake oh, it. Oh gosh, I didn't know how close this next one was. Wow. Would you rather have unlimited coffee from Starbucks or burgers from McDonald's? Burgers. And I do not like Starbucks coffee at all. I don't like burgers. <laughs> yeah, I don't want the burgers from McDonald's either. I don't want either one of them, but I'll pick the coffee from Starbucks and then just give it to somebody else. Yeah, I mean, like I right now, if Starbucks said you could have great free coffee for the rest of your life with the use of this card, I would just give the card away to somebody who likes it because I'm not gonna. I'm I I do not. But like in this case, uh, or burgers from McDonald's, I'd do the same thing. I'm gonna pick the coffee, um, and you're gonna pick the burgers. burgers. Fifty-four percent said Starbucks. Oh, well, they're pretty close. Uh, would you rather wear? It's surprising that that many people would pick coffee. I know. Of course, it's almost some of those are like freaking milkshakes. But think I about mean, it. every time we go in Kroger, there's a line at that no, Starbucks. There is. There's and always we're somebody like, there. Why? But but like I said, a lot of some of that, over half that stuff is like milkshakes. Yeah, oh, it is. It's like it's not just coffee. Totally, it's, like, it's all like yeah. Most people that go there, well, I, I don't, the people we know, the people we know that go there, you're ordering a dessert, you're getting a lot of calories, a yeah, lot of calories. They're not drinking just pure. They're coffee. not. Yeah, they're not <laughs> going there for just coffee. Yeah. Uh, would you rather wear wet underwear in the cold or a heavy coat in the heat? Ooh, neither one of those are good either. Um, I don't want to get, I, I don't like cold. I'd rather be sweating than cold. Me so too. I, would, I think heavy I'd rather wear a coat. As 66% said heavy coat in the heat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'd rather do that because the underwear, you know, it's going to get off. When I'm cold, I'm miserable. Yeah. Um, that, that's going to make bits of body parts that you don't want cold that cold. <laughs> yeah. Would you, would you rather use a stranger's toothbrush or wear a stranger's underwear? Yeah, probably their underwear. Underwear, 73 It doesn't say dirty underwear. underwear. Somebody asked me, are the underwear, or, or can you wash them or something? No, you have, they, they're taking them off and you're going to put them I'd on. I'd still rather. I'd still rather wear their underwear than stick, stick something, something in my, my mouth. In my body parts. I'm, I'm not it's sticking. Been, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're actually putting their toothbrush in, in your, your mouth. mouth. And somebody's like, well, you can clean it. No, that's not what I mean by the question. I mean, they just got done using it and you're using it. Same with the underwear. They're taking them off their body and you're putting them on your body. Most people's Same underwear. Same thing. So you're not cleaning the toothbrush. Yeah. Most people's underwear fairly clean. Yeah. So 73% <laughs> Not everybody. Most people, people are. Uh, would you rather never be able to tell a lie or never be able to complain again. Mm, I like to complain. I was you the hard one. You don't complain too much. Just when you're driving I a lot. Complain constantly. No, Maybe you I'm just don't. complaining in my head. No, um, you do when you're driving, but <laughs> um I've said before, I, I should think film I would, these people when I ride with them. I, I think the, the Andrew, probably the sister. complaining. I think I'd rather not ever complain because because sometimes lies are a good thing. I think yeah, not ever be able to complain. Seventy one percent said that too. Yeah. Because you need to be able to lie, and and some not people are lies, like, but, um, I don't lie. Lying's a sin. I never lie. That's not true. You do lie because if your if your best girlfriend. Uh, ask you if if they look nice or if they asked you do you think I've gained weight or they said uh, what what do you really think of my husband you know are you really gonna tell them you know exactly what you think or are you gonna try to keep the peace well and some people probably would some people probably would but trust me even those people 
we tell lies in certain circumstances. No. So none of everybody lies, period. Um, uh, would you rather attend space camp or band camp? Space, space camp. Uh, I'd rather attend space camp too. I'm 70, not musically inclined. 73% said space camp. Uh, would you rather have ringworm or tapeworm? <laughs> ringworm. Ringworm, definitely. 79% said ringworm. Uh, for one year, would you rather only eat sandwiches or frozen dinners? Probably sandwiches. I'm going to say sandwiches too. 65% said sandwiches. Although there's a lot of frozen dinners, but my biggest thing is not the variety. It's the pain to do it. Because if they're frozen dinners, you got to take them out. You got to microwave them. You got to take them back out. Uh, sandwich, you can just slap that stuff together. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather eat cheddar popcorn or caramel popcorn? Cheddar. Um, I'm going to say... Somewhat gosh. cheddar caramel it is, but... I'm going to say cheddar as well. And 47, I mean, 53% uh, said caramel. 53%. I can believe that. We've Normally had some I would really do caramel. good caramel. If it was all this certain brand that we, it's top of the line, then I would choose caramel. But for the most part. Yeah, if we're talking everyday caramel, every it's, day, it makes your jaw sore. Yeah, and, then I'll just choose the cheddar. Yeah. Uh, would you rather swing on a trapeze or walk on a high tightrope? Uh, trapeze. I'm going to say trapeze. 92% uh, said trapeze. Well, I could sit on this and hold on for dear life. A, a tight rope, there's nothing. <laughs> right. Would you rather be forced to greet people with peekaboo or trick or treat? Probably trick or treat. Um, I'm going to say trick or treat because they're just going to think you're a little weird. A, I mean, weird. they're going to think you're weird anyway. Yeah. 73% said uh, trick or treat. Um, that, that's. That's right. Uh, would you rather eat bananas covered in ketchup or Jello covered in tartar sauce? I I like tartar sauce, so I think I could eat literally spoonfuls of tartar sauce. So I think the Jello with tartar sauce would probably be the tartar sauce is going to probably drown out most of the Jello anyway. So I'm going to say the tartar sauce. I'm going to say Jello covered in tartar sauce too. But 78% said banana covered in ketchup. You know the ketchup and the banana probably wouldn't be bad. Would you rather wear boots to the beach, sandals in the snow? Oh, boots to the beach. Boots to the beach. 88% the boots to the Somebody beach. Somebody in the comments said they've worn flip-flops in the snow before, and I'm like, I would never no, do that. Never. My feet would get too cold. Never. Would you rather take a group of friends to play laser tag or an escape room? Escape room. I'd rather play laser tag. 55% yeah. said play laser tag. Um, the laser tag, just, I've been to a laser tag before. It's, it's okay. Okay, now there's two, there's two last questions, uh, because we are filming this on November 29th, so I always have to film these a couple days ahead before they come out, so I won't know the percentages for these last two, so I can just tell you what our answers will be, and, and then you can look at the percentages when, when the video comes out. Um, would you rather live without spell check or autocorrect? Um, probably autocorrect. I'd rather live without autocorrect. Yeah, sometimes it's annoying as heck. Yeah, these questions have proven Tammy needs spell check. I mean, and I'm, I'm a decent speller. I'm I'm a really, speller. I really am, but when I'm in a hurry, you know, things get twisted. Yeah. Kevin has an issue with, what is it, the? Yeah. I type All the T, time. T E H instead of T A T. He does it's that just While I'm typing, it's just my and brain. It just doesn't mean to at all. But I think spell check's very. It's of course, wonderful. autocorrect would fix that for me automatically because it's a known. This is how I type it. Just correct it every time. Right. Yeah. So, I would just go with spell check. I would though. still I, rather have spell check because autocorrect's not going to get everything, and spell check's going to pretty much get everything. Right. And the last question for November: Would you rather never be able to go outside? During the day again or at night again? Uh, at night again. I'm going to say at night again. Yeah. yeah. Night again. I, we don't go out at night hardly we, anything now. Yeah, we very, very rarely go out at night. When I find myself out at night, it's like, wow, this is, you know, it's just, it's just so different. <laughs> it's, <dark>. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's dark out here. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, it's, uh, yeah, because we just don't do that. Yeah, we just, we pretty much get in for the day and we're done. Yeah. We same. try to, we're those people that get out early so that we can be home 
for the rest of the night and we can be comfortable and and two i if you look at news stories and people won't like to hear this but if you look at news stories a lot of the bad stuff you hear about happens at night it happens at night it happens under the cover of darkness it happens at night so where is the best place for you to be at night at home that's the safest place for you to be is in your own home so anyway thank you to everyone who participated once again i love it um to hear your answers if you know if you feel like uh, devoting and then justifying what you said below that's fine but there are no stupid questions mm. uh, so just know that uh, so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching